Hello, my lovely Aquarians. Here is finally your love reading from September 1st through the 15th. I apologize, you guys. I wanted to get this out a little bit sooner. And also to Aquarius, thank you for being patient. I know that I missed y'all's last couple readings. Um, I had a death in the family, and so obviously that kind of put everything as far as YouTube on a little bit of a pause for me there for a while. But I am back on track. And if you are still waiting on a personal reading, please contact me. All my information's below. I think that I'm pretty much caught up. In fact, I am taking personal readings again. Again, all my information is below. Um, the September special is how does he or she feel about me spread. Normally, that is $75, and for September, it is $40. So reach out. Also, for iPhone users, I am on Instant Go. If you have a quick question, you can find me over there. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, I have a foul mouth. So if you don't like that, as I always say, find Sesame Street for tarot and let me know when you find it. This is all about reality. I don't really sugarcoat anything around here. So, um, you know, if you're looking for kittens and rainbows, probably isn't the channel, but I will tell you like it is so that you can make good sound, uh, you know, choices in your love life. This is for advice, but it is general. It's the general love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. I hope it does, but it may not. So also take a look at your Moon and your Rising signs as well as Venus, okay? If this one doesn't resonate for you, Aquarius. Please like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And other than that, well, I think we are ready to go. So let's take a look and see what's going on with Aquarius. Universe Spirit, give me a 10 card Celtic spread for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and see what is coming in from September 1st through September 12th in Aquarius's love life. Also too, sometimes the energies can be interchangeable. So if you're like, that's not me, well, maybe it's the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. All right, let's take a look, Aquarius, September 1st through September 15th in love. All right, we're going to cut it, and then we're going to do it. I'm also going to be clarifying using the Rider weight. I'm using the Witch's Tarot for your uh, reading, you guys, because it's, well, kick-ass. All right, so bottom of the deck, Aquarius, we have the Magician in Reverse as your overall energy, okay? So the Magician in Reverse, some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini or an Aries, or you just feel like you don't have the tools to manifest some aspect of your love life from the 1st through the 15th. You could be dealing with some manipulative energy as well. We're going to clarify and see what the hell is up with that magician in reverse because I don't really like it. All right, so let's see. Coming into the current moment, Aquarius, we do have the Ace of Swords in reverse. It kind of goes hand in hand with that magician in reverse. There could be, you guys might be dealing again with Gemini, so you have a lot of Gemini energy or Libra and Aquarius. If not, I mean, obviously this could be you guys too if you're not dealing with another air sign. But the Ace of Swords in the reverse coming in right now is just a lack of clarity. It could be a lack of communication. It could be somebody's lying to you with the Ace of Swords in reverse or you feel like somebody's lying to you, AKA the magician in reverse, okay? So there could be some lies could be just a lack of clarity or a lack of communication. What is challenging you or influencing this Ace of Swords in reverse is the Three of Cups in reverse. Ugh, all reversals so far. Don't shoot the messenger. These are the cards that are coming out, all right? Three of Cups in reverse. So yeah, it could be third party. The challenge could be somebody's lying to you about a third party, right? Also too, the challenge could be to reconcile with somebody because there could be this lack of communication. All right, we'll see. What's on your mind? God, you guys, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Normally, I think of the Knight of Pentacles as a Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. The energy is just, Jesus, these are all reversals, you guys. Ugh, these are shuffled really well. So look, they're just coming out. Thumbs down if you don't like it, but you know, if you want a reality check, this is it. I'm not gonna change my style of reading. This is the way I read, and this is the message you guys need to get, so. But what's on your mind is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Again, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving energy when it's in the revert, in the upright. But when it's in the reverse, it's kind of just not moving at all. Something in regards to your love life could be 
Um, again, could be a, a cut in communication possibly with another air sign or with a, an earth sign, possibly a uh, Virgo. But also, too, what's on your mind is something's just come to a stop, and it might bring it might be bringing in a lack of clarity, or somebody may be lying to you guys with that Ace of Swords in the reverse. That's why what's on your mind is just putting something to a stop, or the energy is just very, very slow to move. Okay, in the recent past, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, more Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Just kind of feeling like, you know, in the recent past, you'd invested a lot into something. Again, more earth energy, and maybe you felt like it was just a waste of time, a waste of investment, a disappointment. Normally, the Seven of Pentacles in the upper has a lot of past energy tied to it. You've nurtured it, you've loved it, you've planted, you've grown, you've taken care of it, right? And then you're just kind of waiting for the harvest. But in the reverse, it's just feeling like you've put all this hard work and effort and it just hasn't come to fruition the way that you wanted it to. And that might be, again, what's on your mind is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, something that's just stopping. It's just not moving forward. Why it's all happening or the situation is the King of Swords. This could definitely be you guys. Or you could be dealing with another Aquarian, a Libra, a Gemini. So we have a lot of air energy. I think for a lot of you, you are dealing with another air sign. And I think that um, we have a lot of Gemini energy here too. And I think it's all happening because of this person, the King of Swords. They may be um, emotionally distant, kind of cold, right? Now this King of Swords is in the upright. But coming into the current moment, we've got this King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Remember, they could have that in their birth chart somewhere as well. Or this could just be their energy that they're taking on. A lot of times an ex will show up as a king or queen of swords as well. But coming in, this person may not be being truthful with you with that ace of swords in reverse. Or you're just lacking clarity when it comes to this person. Because the challenge is to reconcile or agree, come together. Also, the challenge could be a third party. And that might be why coming in, we've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. And as a result of this person, things are just not moving. They're stuck. But I think that you guys saw, saw that in the recent past. With that Seven of Pentacles in reverse, eh, this is kind of a waste of time. And it's all happening due to this person. Now, for some of you, this will be you. Because King of Swords can be an Aquarian too. All right? Coming in, what you're going to experience, though, is temperance. Some of you may have a Sagittarius coming in. Or with that temperance energy, that's beautiful energy, right? So not all is lost, Aquarius, all right? Not all is lost. Coming in, you're going to experience temperance. That is being divinely guided, major arcana, so major change, right, with that major arcana temperance. Uh, being patient, you know, having harmony, rebalancing your emotions. If you feel like things have been, there's been an, um, an imbalance in your emotions, it's getting that all together can be the card of reconciliation. Some of you may be reconciling with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but be careful because right now coming in, there's a lack of communication or a lack of clarity. Also too, with temperance coming in, a lot of you are gonna experience compromise. It can be cooperation from another individual or compromise, but you have to be patient with this energy, this temperance energy. I love the temperance card in the Witch's Tarot. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. I love this deck for anyone who, well, cares. How you see yourself right now, Aquarius, is the emperor in reverse. Some of you guys might not be real happy, okay? And it could be due to <clears throat> these lies or lack of communication or lack of clarity. The emperor in reverse is, so the emperor in the upright is all about stability, control, power. You know, they like the power, a little bit of a control freak, but it, there's still a lot of loving and nurturing energy. But in the reverse, it's just feeling like you don't have control over a situation, which may lead you to act out a little bit. But it's just because you're feeling a lack of control. Why? Because coming in, we've got a lack of clarity, which is making you feel like you don't have the power here <clears throat> in the situation. <clears throat> Now, those of you that are dealing with an air sign, it's interesting because this air sign is in the upright. And I think so mostly for you guys, I think this is a lack of clarity. Maybe not necessarily lies. We'll clarify and see. But you're having a lack of clarity with somebody because in the recent past, you saw something as a waste of time and the, the movement just isn't there on your mind. You're not moving something or they're not moving, right? And so you feel like you just don't have control over the situation and it's leaving you probably impatient. 
but coming in, again, we have temperance, possible cooperation with another air sign, possibly just regaining your emotions, getting everything in check, making everything balanced and harmonized again. So outside influences coming in that you don't see is the hermit in reverse. See, yeah, so somebody coming back around most likely. Sign of Virgo, okay? So yeah, a lot of you will have some type of reconciliation, okay? Because we have two cards of reconciliation here. Okay, coming in, you're gonna experience temperance. Yeah, it could be a Sagittarius, but also too, um, it's just, it could be reconcili reconciliation, cooperation, compromise, balance, balancing the water and the fire with the temperance, okay? Equaling everything out. And it all has to do with this King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, they may just be taking on this energy, but for a lot of you, it will be an air sign. We're gonna have to clarify this Three of Cups because that is your challenge, okay? Coming in right now, that's your challenge, but into the present moment. But what you don't see coming in is somebody coming back around with the hermit in reverse. Somebody that's gone within, maybe withdrawn, maybe ghosted. You know, that might be why you guys have this lack of clarity right now. In your hopes or fear, Aquarius, you have the five of cups. Yeah, you guys are fearing having some type of regret or loss over a past situation. Emotion, cups. Five is always a challenging number, but the Five of Cups is looking back at the past with disappointment, sadness, heartbreak, not realizing you still have off, something to offer or something to receive. It's not all lost, but it's kind of dwelling on the past. That's your fear that you're going to keep dwelling on the past because you have a lack of clarity right now with the Ace of Swords in reverse. You may feel that somebody's lying to you about a third party, all right? That doesn't necessarily mean it's happening. But whatever it is, what's on your mind or kind of the reading is something that's just stuck for now. It's not moving, but good things are coming in. All right, most likely outcome Aquarius, you do have the fool. Yeah, sign of Aries. This could be a brand new start in a relationship, but with the fool energy, it's taking a risk in some way. I think a lot of you are going to take a risk with somebody coming back around. The fool is starting again. It's starting from zero. It's taking that leap of faith into the unknown. Let's take a risk. Let's do it again. It's that type of energy. All right, but right now, again, the energy is just, we've got Gemini and we've got Aries. We've got a lot of Aries, a lot of Gemini, a lot of air energy, uh, Virgo here a couple times. <clears throat> right now, you just feel like you don't have the tools to manifest something because in the recent past, you saw something as a disappointment. Okay, but for some of you, it could be coming back around. So let's clarify using the miniature Rider weight. Actually, I'm not gonna use the miniature. I'm using the... Full deck here, Aquarius. I just lied to you. No wonder you guys are the goddamn ace of swords coming in right now in reverse. Even I'm lying to you, Aquarius. All right, let's clarify and open up this reading for Aquarius. Give us additional advice and guidance, please, for the zodiac sign of Aquarius in love, September 1st through September 15th. What does Aquarius need to know about their love life September 1st through September 15th in love, please? Love messages only for Aquarius. Give us some additional advice and guidance for Aquarius in love, please. All right, we're going to cut it, and then we're going to MFing do it. We're going to clarify this bitch. All right, let's start with your overall energy. So your overall energy is the magician in reverse. Again, some of y'all are dealing with an Aries or a Gemini. Well, and the King of Cups in reverse just wanted to fall out. <clears throat> There's that water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, right now you guys just feel like you're not able to manifest something because somebody's been closed off emotionally, not offering that cup. Also, the Knight of Cups in reverse can, it's usually somebody, I look at the Knight of Cups always as somebody that you're already dealing with. Um, there could be some jealousy too with that Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, therefore, you're just not able to manifest something. Some, somebody's not offering something at the moment, okay? Recent past, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Just kind of feeling like something's a disappointment, really. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here, please, for Aquarius? And the Death card, sign of Scorpio. Yeah, so you guys may have put an end to something in the recent past, or somebody may have ended something with you because it was just that energy of a disappointment. You know, just kind of felt like you were wasting your time. For some of you, there was a transformation, kind of ended one phase and went into another. But for most of you, I think there was some type of ending because somebody was just like, mm, waste of my time, moving on. 
What's on your mind, though, is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. More Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Aquarius, please? The High Priestess in reverse. Major Arcana for Pisces. Um, yeah, something may have come out. You guys may feel like you're not using your intuition as well when it comes to this energy that's just not moving forward. You may feel like you're not listening to your intuition. Also, too, something may have come out. Some type of secret may have come out. And that might be why in the recent past you guys are like, mm, big fat disappointment. I'm ending this. And so now the energy is just stuck um, with that high priestess in reverse. Again, some type of secret may have been revealed or a lot of you guys just kind of don't know what to do. You feel like maybe your intuition isn't telling you the right right answer, right? Coming in, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Aquarius? Lack of clarity, I think for the most part, could be some lies uh, through communication. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Aquarius? Yeah, and the Eight of Cups, making somebody kind of walk away for now because there's a lack of clarity. Lack of communication, lack of clarity some lies through communication. It's leading somebody to walk away right now with that Eight of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups in reverse the challenge for Aquarius? What's this Three of Cups for Aquarius? What's the Three of Cups? Five of Swords in reverse. Your challenge is gonna to be to clear the air with somebody, to get rid of some type of manipulation, to overcome some type of arguments. Five of Swords in reverse is, again, you know, no longer fighting with somebody, especially through communication. So the challenge is to reconcile or agree, right? And to have some good communication here without arguments, without fighting. So you're going to have to really tame your communication um, when it comes to meeting up with this person or trying to work something out here. It's all happening due to the King of Swords. Could be you or could be a Libra, Gemini, or another Aquarian. Why is the King of Swords here, please, for Aquarius? What's this King of Swords? The Sun. So it's all about clarity, right? Because <laughs> coming into the current moment, we have a lack of clarity. Sun, sign of Leo. Sun is happiness. It's positivity. It's clarity. Sometimes we can get burned with the sun, though, as well, right? If we get too close. So the situation has to do possibly with another air sign or somebody that's just cutting something out, right? It could be a little bit emotionally detached right now. Um, and it's bringing some clarity to you guys. It's about finding the clarity and moving on to happiness. Get some positivity out of this person. Because right now coming in, you don't have that clarity. And it's making somebody walk away with that Eight of Cups. All right. Coming in, you have temperance, though. Could be a Sagittarius. Or it could be just reconciling, you know, trying to really cooperate with somebody. It's also, too, about being patient when it comes to your love life. Getting your, your emotions back in check. Why is temperance here for Aquarius, please? And it's the Six of Swords. Yeah, moving on to calmer waters. A lot of you guys, somebody is going to come back around. And you guys, because a lot of people are like, oh, the Six of Swords moving on. Well, yeah, it can talk about moving on. But it's also the card and the energy. We're talking about swords. That's your energy. But it's also, you know, air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Swords are all about our mental energy. And when it's on top of that temperance coming in, a lot of you guys are going to experience coming to some type of resolution. Temperance is all about cooperation. And the Six of Swords is all about moving on to calmer waters. So for a lot of you, there will be some type of compromise or resolution coming in. The problem is right now in your mind, you just feel like things are just not moving, right? And that you're not listening to your intuition. All right. Right now, you see yourself as the emperor in reverse. I think a lot of you are angry, you know, because something's just not bringing you that clarity that you want. Why is the uh, emperor here in reverse for Aquarius? Why is this emperor here? The world in reverse, exactly what I just say. You're angry because you don't have clarity. World in reverse, lack of closure, unfinished business. You guys feel like there's a lesson that hasn't been learned, a cycle that hasn't been closed. And because of that, you are a little temperamental and you're a little upset because there's just no stability here. It's almost like somebody's walked away here and there's a big, big energy of a lack of clarity when it comes to this person that's walked away. Something in the recent past ended, most likely. Um, but I think that you guys were left with kind of like that energy of, huh? Like, what just happened? Okay, what just happened? Coming in, you have the hermit. 
who or what is this hermit, please? Sign of Virgo, somebody coming back around, somebody that may have ghosted or withdrawn, trying to get some type of inner guidance, and then they come back around. So this is what's coming in that you don't know, that you don't see, okay? What's this hermit for Aquarius, please? The Emperor again, sign of Aries. We have a lot of Aries energy in this reading, Aquarius. We also have a lot of Libra Gemini Aquarius. A lot of you have an Aries coming back around, okay? Also, too, and this person's going to be willing to compromise with you guys. It's actually nice energy coming in. Somebody's walked away and did something. It's left y'all with a lack of clarity. You're kind of like, mm, am I, like... Am I seeing things the way that I really need to be seeing? Am I really using my intuition, right? Because my challenge is coming back together with this person and to stop the fighting or the arguing. It's all happening because of either somebody just cut you off or was really emotionally detached. Remember, this energy can go vice versa. But coming in, there's going to be some balancing of the emotions, some compromise, reconciliation, having a resolution, coming to those calmer waters. Because right now, you guys are like, what the fuck is going on? I am pissed. Emperor in reverse. Because there's a lack of closure. There's a cycle that hasn't finished. I get the feeling that somebody just kind of walked away from you guys. Again, the energy could, could be vice versa. But again, coming in, some of you have a Virgo coming in or somebody that was um, withdrawn from you. They're going to come in. Could be an Aries too. With the Emperor, could be somebody older. Could be a husband for some of y'all. But the Emperor is all about regaining balance and power and control. It's taking back your power and control. It's bringing the stability back to a situation. So somebody will come around with that energy like, uh, you know, let's get this under control. Like the, the emperor is all about knowing exactly what they want and doing it. It can be very loving, nurturing energy, but it can also be a little bit controlling, a little bit power hungry, kind of my way or the highway type energy. But I really think in this sense, it's just this more of this person knowing exactly what they want. Okay. Your fear is the five of cups, having some regret about the past, you know, living in the past is your fear that you won't be able to get over the past hurt. Why is the Five of Cups here for Aquarius, please? What's this Five of Cups? And the Wheel of Fortune. That will cause change. The Wheel of Fortune is all about karmic lessons. It's about change. It's normally big changes that come in that you don't have any control over. Drastic change, destiny, karma, right? So you're. I think that a lot of you guys are fearing uh, with this Five of Cups that there'll be some regret, some hurt from the past, that you won't be able to change the situation. Some of you guys may just feel like this is a karmic relationship, um, you know, that the inevitable is coming in, right, to make changes. But you want those good changes with the Wheel of Fortune. You want things to start moving in your favor because, again, what's on your mind is things are just stuck, stagnant, not moving forward. And you're really having a hard time honing in on your intuition. But the most likely outcome is the Fool. It'll be an Aries for some of you guys. Why is the Fool here for Aquarius? What's this fool energy, please? Clarify the fool. And the king of swords in reverse. So again, you know, this could be you or it could be another air sign. A lot of air in here, a lot of air and a lot of Aries. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But be careful, it's in the reverse. So again, if somebody comes in and they want this fresh new start, take this leap of faith, you know, they could still be emotionally detached. They could be a little bit cold with that king of swords. I don't love the King of Swords in reverse, okay? So just be careful with the communication if this person comes back around. It's interesting because in the foundation, they're in the upright, right? So this could be you guys and then coming in, this person coming back around is still emotionally closed or detached, closed off, or they could be lying, okay? So just be careful with um, whoever's coming back around because somebody's definitely coming back around for y'all and they want a fresh new start or you guys want a fresh new start, but somebody's still gonna be a little bit closed off here, could be keeping some stuff from you. What's the King of Swords? Let's clarify it again. Why is this King of Swords here, please, for Aquarius? Why is this King of Swords here? Ha <laughs> the Fool again. Sign of Aries, double energy, y'all. A lot of you are dealing with an Aries. A lot of you will take a risk with this person, okay? Now, two scenarios I see here, somebody coming back around, and some of you guys with that King of Swords in the reverse are just going to be emotionally detached from this person and are just going to be like, uh-uh, not happening. But somebody definitely wants a new start that's coming back around. We have the Fool twice. 
Um, and then others of you, this person is coming around, but they are being untruthful perhaps, okay? But they really wanna take a leap of faith. Somebody wants to start again, for sure. Um, and I think for a lot of you it will be that you guys are just going to be emotionally detached from this person because you certainly could be the king of swords in reverse. It doesn't always have to mean that they're lying or cheating or, or whatever. It could be. So, you know, that's the possible energy that you have to really look out for. But somebody's definitely going to take a leap of faith here. A lot of Aries, a lot of Gemini, Aquarian, Libra energy. So that's what I have for you guys. Somebody definitely walked away, but somebody's definitely coming back around. If you're waiting for them to communicate, it's coming. There'll be some compromise. I know right now you guys have a lack of clarity, but that will be changing soon. But just please be careful of that King of Swords in reverse. Love you hard. Love me hard back. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.